Welcome back, Mind Pumpers. Coach Eugene Teo here, and today we're going to talk all about the deadlift. I'm going to give you my top four tips to optimizing your deadlift form to get you lifting as safely as possible. <music> All right, so there are many different technique cues out there in terms of how to deadlift optimally. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys a four point checklist to run through to help you guys understand where some of the common faults may be in a deadlift and how to overcome those things using some of these cues. So to begin with, I look at the midsection, how well somebody is bracing. So a common thing is either people aren't bracing at all, or they might be bracing what they think is bracing, but they actually might be extending a little bit excessively into their lower back. So a simple way to correct this is I have people place their hands onto their midsection, right here onto that love handle spot, and I'll tell them to breathe through their nose only. What you'll find as you do this, is you'll feel expansion, not just here in your belly, but also out through your sides and even into your lower back. And that's a very quick, simple way to automatically guarantee you are engaging your diaphragm sufficiently because that won't necessarily happen if you were to breathe through your mouth. You can try that for yourself. We you put your hand into your side and try breathing in through your mouth only. And there may be some motion there, but you'll find a lot more happens when you breathe through your nose. Now, that doesn't mean you have to just breathe through your nose when you're deadlift, but I find it's useful at least in your warm sets or at least when you're just getting used to this bracing technique. So that's the first part. If I cue everybody, breathe in through your nose. The next part is looking at the lats and how well you are engaging them. The common fault with this is people, when they deadlift, they'll tend to arch a lot through their lower back and they'll pull their shoulder blades back into retraction, which actually makes the movement a lot more inefficient. What we want to be thinking about instead is not pulling the shoulder blades back together and decreasing the length of our arms. If anything, we want to think about shoulder blades going down towards our waist, which lengthens out the arms. So a simple cue from the, for this from the start point standing up is to first breathe through the nose and then reach your hands as far down your legs as possible without hunching and rounding out through your spine. What you'll find as you do this inhale, reaching down, and then also reaching back behind your body is you'll feel a stiffening or a tensioning through your mid-back lat musculature. Once those two spots are set, the breath, the brace, the, the lats, they shouldn't change whatsoever. From there, we can now move into the lower part, so the hips and the feet. So what I cue here is to tell people to imagine trying to split themselves into the splits without obviously moving their feet. So taking your own comfortable stance with that bar, what I want people to be thinking about is trying to pull their feet apart in this outward direction. What you'll find as you do that is your knees start to turn out as well and push out towards the sides and you'll feel your entire hip extensor chain, so your glutes, your hamstrings and your adductors, you'll feel those areas engaging and pre-tensioning before you lift. So now we have three things, inhale, lats and now the feet. The final thing is now when we get you to grab onto the bar. So once I'm set up with my breath, my lats and my feet engaged, I'll grab onto the bar. And before I lift from here, what I want to get people doing is to pre-tension that bar by pulling what's called the slack out of that bar. So what you'll hear now, we've got 135 pounds on this barbell. If I pull with 130 pounds, that bar won't move at all. But what you will hear is this click. And that is me leveraging and pulling my body weight against the barbell, which now lets me leave my body down into a good position where my shoulders are almost directly over the barbell. And from there, I'm ready to push away with my legs. So again, breathing in through my nose, tensioning my lats, driving my feet apart, slack out of the bar and push away. Four steps to simplifying the deadlift. Breath lats, feet, slack, and pushing away. Give those cues a shot, guys. Hope you guys find that helpful. Let us know what you guys think in the comments section below, and we'll see you guys next time.